Welcome to Stormwater Drainage Solutions. In this video, we're going to be demonstrating how dual wall storm pipe flows water just as good as any other smooth interior pipe like PVC or RCP, which stands for reinforced concrete pipe. This demonstration is going to show that. Some people think that because dual wall has these corrugations on the outside, that even when they put the smooth interior sleeve in the manufacturing process through the inner portion of this pipe, that it leaves small divots throughout this pipe. We're gonna demonstrate how it flows water just as good as those other pipes that I named. Let's get started. All right, so what we went ahead and did is we set this 18 inch, 10 foot stick of dual wall pipe up and we went ahead and we leveled it with the proper pitch. Now, if you go ahead and look closely right here on our level, we have a quarter bubble. So that's standard for smooth interior pipe to make sure that that water drains in the direction that you want it to go. Now we're also gonna be doing a four inch piece of dual wall, a 10 foot section of that as well. But let's go ahead and do the 18 inch first. So before we do the water test, we're gonna first put a metal ball bearing and let that roll down the pipe. So this is what we're gonna use first. We're gonna use this metal ball bearing so you can see how smooth this pipe is on the inside. So let's go ahead and let's see what happens. All right, so the interior of this pipe, that smooth wall did not hinder this metal ball bearing rolling down it at all with a quarter of a bubble. Now, as you can see in here, with the way the light is shining through the interior of this pipe, you can see ridges. But at the end of the day, these ridges, they don't hinder anything. It's, I want to almost say it's like an optical illusion, but it's not an optical illusion because when I feel it with my hand, I do feel a slight indent right here where this exterior ridge is but it is so minimal that it does not do anything go ahead and try one other thing let's go ahead and throw this metal ball bearing upstream and let's see if it'll make its way back downstream So as you can see, those little bit of divots in there that really are hardly anything, you more see it with the eye and the light, they don't hinder this pipe's performance at all as a smooth walled pipe. All right, let's get to the water now. Let's go ahead and let's add water to this dual wall pipe and see how, how the interior performs. Seems to be flowing pretty well to me. I don't see anything hindering it as for the slight ridges that you can kind of see on the inside. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk back over there. I'm gonna pull the hose out and we're gonna let the water that is remaining in that pipe travel to the discharge end. And let's see how much of that water lingers and stays in that pipe once I remove the hose. Let's get a little geeky here and talk about dual wall storm pipe. So dual wall storm pipe is branded as N12. Now there's a reason that it's branded for N12. So basically we're gonna go into the Manning's equation a little bit here. Now we're not gonna go too in depth with it, um, just what we need to cover. So in the Manning's equation, you have an N and the N represents the roughness coefficient of the inner diameter of a pipe or a channel. So basically, the higher the end value, the more roughness is in that channel or that pipe. So that is going to determine how well the water flows through that channel or pipe and the fluid dynamics behind it. So let me give you some examples here. So RCP, which is reinforced concrete pipe, has a Manning's N value of 
0.0013. VCP, which is vitrified clay pipe, has the same N value, which is 0 0.013. Uh, CMP pipe, which stands for corrugated metal pipe, that has a N value of 0 0.023, which is significantly higher than the first two that I just named. So N12, which is for dual wall, that's the branded name. So the N is the Manning's roughness value, and the 12 stands for its roughness. So dual wall pipe has an N value of 0 0.012. That is why it is called N12 pipe, if you ever heard that name. So we don't get too geeky on this channel, but we might start we might start doing that a little bit more here. We'll 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 probably start getting a little bit more geeky here. Because I know we have a lot of viewers that do enjoy that. So the next thing we're gonna demonstrate and show is putting debris through this system. Now this is just some leaf litter that we have laying around the property that we just gathered up and piled up. So I'm just going to be putting these leaves through here and we're going to see how well they travel through this stick of dual wall. Let's do a quick recap and keep it simple. So the higher the end value, the rougher the interior of that pipe is going to be. The lower the end value, the more smoother the interior of that pipe is going to be. So as you can see, both RCP and VCP has a higher end value than dual wall drainage storm pipe has, making dual wall drainage storm pipe smoother than concrete pipe and vitrified clay pipe. And both vitrified clay pipe and concrete pipe are smooth walled interior pipes. So the other thing too is HDPE, which stands for high density polyethylene. That's the plastic that these pipes are made out of. Now the gray version of this pipe is made out of polypropylene, but we're not gonna talk about that in this video. We're gonna just talk about the HDPE versions. So high density polyethylene plastic. This plastic is highly durable. It's very strong, it's chemical resistant. It stands up to acids, bases, solvents. I mean, they use this plastic to store chemicals in, in labs and chemical facilities. I mean, this plastic is really durable. I mean, it holds up outside. Now, what I like about it here in Florida is it is very resistant to UV rays. So the sun baking this plastic, if this plastic is out in the sun all day, it's not going to affect it at all. PVC, when PVC is exposed to the sun, it does break it down over time. The UV rays will break it down over time. It does take, it, it, it takes some time for it to happen, but it does happen. Now you can easily curb this by painting that PVC and that'll add a UV protective layer over it because the paint will cover the PVC. But this is why PVC ultimately needs to be buried. It shouldn't be stored out in the sun for long periods of time. Once you start seeing that PVC fading on the outside, that means the UV rays are starting to get to it. So HDP doesn't have this problem. HDP, it can be left out in the sun for a long time and it doesn't do anything to it. So HDP really is a strong, durable plastic. And that's why we at Stormwater Drainage Solutions have been leaning more towards using a lot more of it because of these many reasons that I'm trying to explain here. We still use PVC. We install a lot of PVC uh, for commercial sites, for clients that you know have to have PVC. You know, we most definitely will install it. The price point's gonna be a little bit higher compared to HDPE, but we will still install PVC, absolutely. But we are leaning more towards HDPE because we are finding a lot more pros than cons with using this type of material in piping systems. All right, so let's talk about four inch dual wall for a minute here before we go ahead and we run water through this to show you the water test. So when you start going down in size with dual wall, it becomes more flexible. Now, as you can see, this is a four inch, 10 foot stick of dual wall pipe. Now watch how it can flex. So the smaller the dual wall, the more flex you're gonna get out of the pipe. Now that can be a positive thing 
when you are working in certain areas on a job site where you need to slightly flex the pipe around something so you can minimize the fittings that you're using. So you have less joints essentially. That's the name of the game. The less joints you can use, the better because everywhere there's a joint, that's a weak point in the pipe. And it doesn't matter what kind of pipe you're using. A joint is a weak point. So this dual wall, just being on the outside of the ground is very hard to level out and have a correct pitch because when you install this pipe in your trench, the trench needs to be a flat bottom trench. This obviously is not a trench. You know, this stone makes it where it's hard to have a flat bottom here with this pipe. So you need a flat bottom trench when you're installing this pipe. And that flat bottom trench then needs to be slightly sloped in the direction you want that water to travel. Once this pipe is then installed in that trench, the dirt is packed around it tightly. So it does not move and it cannot create bellies anywhere in the line. And then it is backfilled further. So that's the proper way to install smaller size dual wall pipe. Same goes for larger stuff too. You want to install a larger dual wall pretty much the same exact way with the smaller stuff. Let's go ahead and do the water test on this. The other thing I want to mention about HDP plastic is that it has the ability to expand and contract. So if you're in a northern climate that experiences freezes and thaws, this is very helpful because that pipe can expand and contract when you have frost heave in the ground that moves the ground and the things in it, this pipe can move easier with that ground without breaking or cracking because this plastic is more forgivable. So that is another very important thing. If you're up north and you're looking for a good drainage pipe, I would highly recommend that you get a quality HDPE pipe for your drainage system. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this demonstration video on how smooth interior dual wall HDPE pipe performs. If you need drainage work, whether it's commercial or residential in the Tampa Bay area, give Stormwater Drainage Solutions a call at 813-614-3456 or visit us at our website at stormwaterdrainagesolutions.com. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. It supports us. It helps the channel out. We're doing all this to try to educate and help our clients out and anybody else that's interested in the stormwater drainage industry and wants to learn. Until next time, this is SWDS signing off.